worst hit and worst hurt uh, by climate change are the poor countries. We are the richest country. For us to walk away and say, we don't give a damn about the poor countries, even though we created all, a lot of this, you know, that's immoral. Secretary Rice, I mean, the president said that withdrawing was in America's economic interest. I know you tweeted about that, saying it was not an economic decision. Do you think it's about politics or what? I think it's solely about politics. It's about his base. Uh, that's what uh, we all understand. I mean, he couldn't deliver on many of his promises, perhaps uh, any of his promises, and he delivered on one of his promises today. He felt that pressure from the base. I don't know, frankly, why. I don't think the base really uh, knows uh, much about Paris climate. Most Americans uh, don't really know much about the climate accords, but I would second David Gergen. This is a shameful day. The president seems to regard the world as a zero-sum game, as mathematicians would put it, in which either we win and everybody else loses, or everybody else wins and we lose. Obviously, it's not that way, whether you're talking about trade or you're talking about immigration or you're talking about the climate especially, because if we see the climate of the world continue to deteriorate, we are going to suffer, our children and our grandchildren, just like everybody else. Uh, this is irrational uh, from a standpoint of economics. It is shameful from the standpoint of morality. Stephen, uh, the president said that, you know, the world is not going to laugh us at, laugh at us anymore. I'm not sure what his, you know, constant reference to people laughing at, at us is about or where that comes from. But do you believe that, that this was in any way about politics or was this purely based on economics? Well, I certainly think that Donald Trump should keep the promises that he made. And I was on the campaign trail with him at times when he made this declaration that we were going to get out of the climate change uh, uh, accord, and it was one of his strongest applause lines. Um, um, Americans who voted for Trump, uh, in no small part, voted for him precisely because of that. And you could look, he was crystal clear uh, about what he was going to do if he was going to get elected. He was going to get us out of this climate change deal, and Hillary Clinton was very crystal clear that she was going to be all in for it. And, and so you could make the case that there was a, a, almost a national referendum on whether we wanted the climate change deal, and, and voters voted against it. But I wanted to address something David said, because I just strongly disagree with it. Yes, David, of course, we, we produced one-third of, uh, of, uh, of the carbon, because that's because we're the richest country in the world, and, and you get rich by using energy. And the idea that all of these countries in the world should use less energy, you talk about poor countries. I mean, my goodness, what poor countries need, the African countries and so on, they need to use energy. And it's not going to be wind and solar power. They need to use coal, and they need to use natural gas. Uh, and to tell these countries, oh, you shouldn't have access to cheap and abundant energy, I think is kind of immoral in that regard. They, they need energy more than they need to worry about, you know, a change in the in the in the rise of the ocean David, that's going to happen a hundred years you to respond from now. To well, uh, listen, David, I very much respect your views, as you know. But when 190 countries, including the poorest mm -hmm. countries in the world, all are in accord that this is in their interest and they're willing to abide by uh, commitments, mm -hmm. uh, and we're now in the league, 190 nations going in one direction, one path. And we're now taking a different path with Syria and Nicaragua. Doesn't that make you feel great again? Well, okay. and, 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 aren't you and, really? Let me. I want to bring in, 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 in Governor Granholm. I mean, okay. Let me just let me jump in on this because I think what Stephen is saying is totally wrong. And I think Stephen, you're using old talking points. Solar and wind are cheaper than coal and natural gas now, unsubsidized from the Lazar report from December. The fact that these countries want to have access to wind and solar as one option. And by the way, India and China have canceled their coal plants because coal is more expensive for their citizens than, than, uh, the natural, than uh, solar. But let me just say, the president said this was an economic decision. There are 3.1 million people in America who are working in this clean energy industry. In Pennsylvania, you had the mayor of Pittsburgh on. In Pennsylvania, there are 57,000 people who work in Pennsylvania. There are thousands of job providers in Pennsylvania in this clean energy industry. In Michigan, there's almost 90,000 people who work in this clean energy industry. In Ohio, there are 90,000 people who work in the clean energy industry. All of those states have fewer people working in coal and natural gas. So to say that it is an economic decision to side with an industry, especially coal, where the numbers are plummeting and not side with an industry 
where the numbers are growing Stephen, exponentially well, but it's not, a here's a economic well, decision. Wait a minute. you got to put that chart up again because that chart is inaccurate. I think as I read it, it's 500,000 jobs in the oil and petroleum industry. No, it's more like something like uh, six or eight million people. So there's order of magnitude larger number of people Steve, working uh, Steve, in the oil and gas industry. That's from the Department You've of Energy. Right. Yeah, well, th those figures, I mean, look, I've seen figures as much as six million people are directly or indirectly okay. tied that, to oil and gas. From the but here's the point. I wanted to okay, address ahead. something that David made uh, this point about. Why aren't we complying with this when the rest of the world is? And the answer to that, David, is we are. We've reduced our carbon emissions more than any other country in the world over the last seven years among, you know, the major industrial countries. Meanwhile, uh, the governor is simply wrong on this. China, the Wall Street Journal just had an article on this about two weeks ago. China has doubled down on coal. They're building dozens and dozens of coal plants because coal That's is a lot cheaper okay, so my, than no, the 